Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're talking about the successful entrepreneur Evan Spiegel, the co-founder and CEO of the American social media company Snap. Evan Spiegel, CEO of Snap, became billionaire at the age of 25. If you think about millennials, immediately your mind fly to the bright yellow background which defines Snapchat. Their love for this app is so impressive that they started to invest in Snap stocks. Evan Spiegel, Bobby Murphy, Reggie Brown worked together for several months and launched Snapchat as Peekaboo on the iOS operating system on July 8, 2011. Reggie Brown was ousted from the company months after it was launched. The app was relaunched as Snapchat in September 2011. In 2013, Spiegel turned down a $3 billion offer from Facebook to buy Snapchat. In September 2016, Spiegel renamed Snapchat to Snap Inc. and unveiled Spectacles. The camera-equipped sunglasses exemplify Spiegel's description of Snap Inc. as a camera company. As of July 2021, Snapchat had 293 million daily active users, a 23% growth over a year. On average, more than 4 billion snaps are sent each day. Evan Spiegel was born on June 4, 1990 in Los Angeles, California. His parents Melissa Ann Thomas and John W. Spiegel are both lawyers. His family was very wealthy and as a teenager, he received a $250 weekly allowance. His parents eventually divorced. As a teenager, he asked his father to buy him a new BMW and on his refusal, he moved in with his mother out of protest. She leased him the $75,000 car. He attended the Crossroads Schools for Arts and Sciences in Santa Monica. He also took design classes at the Otis College of Art and Design while still in high school and attended classes at the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. As a student, he used to conduct experiments with Photoshop and had an unpaid internship in sales at Red Bull. After completing high school, he joined the prestigious Stanford University in a product design program and was accepted into the Kappa Sigma fraternity. That's when he met fellow student Bobby Murphy, who hired Evan for the job of designing an online social network inspired by the Google Circles. This venture, however, was a failure. Evan proceeded to develop what would become their first project with Bobby, Future Freshman, an online software aimed to help in the management of college admissions by counselors, parents, and high school students. The project started well, but could not maintain a steady growth and ended soon after. At around this time, Evan Spiegel and Bobby Murphy met another student, Reggie Brown. The collaboration between the three would prove to be a productive one. We would experiment and fail. We must have attempted nearly 34 projects. This is one of the quotes of Evan Spiegel. The idea for creating a disappearing pictures app was conceived by Reggie Brown and Evan Spiegel decided to start a prototype based on this idea as a project for one of his classes. Soon Bobby Murphy became involved as well and the three young men began developing the prototype. The trio bonded over beers and the shared love of design, technology and mathematics. They went on to develop an app, Peekaboo, that allowed users to send a photo to a recipient that would delete itself after just 10 seconds, a concept most of the world is now very familiar with. Evan Spiegel decided to leave Stanford in 2012 
to focus on peekaboo. This move was an incredibly risky one, especially as he was only just a few credits short of graduating. Despite being derived from the exact same idea as Snapchat, this initial app failed to entice and gain traction. Peekaboo was fun on the bun. Initially, Evan Spiegel's classmates made fun of his final project as they felt that the idea of impermanent photos was not a feasible one. The new application was launched in September 2011. Snapchat soon evolved into an image messaging and multimedia mobile application and early on the team focused on usability and technical aspects. Sales were modest that fall of 2011, but something clicked into place by winter with the app recording 20,000 users in January 2012 before ramping up to 100,000 in April. In May 2012, 25 images were being sent per second on Snapchat and by November, the users had shared over 1 billion photos on the Snapchat iOS app with 20 million photos being shared per day. In 2013, Evan Spiegel with Bobby Murphy forced Reggie Brown out of the company without giving any equity, so he filed a lawsuit against them. The issue was settled when the two paid Brown $157.5 million to stand away from Snapchat. Newer elements like my story feature and the ability to communicate via video chat were added, making the app extremely popular worldwide. Snapchat took the world by storm. As its user base swelled, Evan Spiegel became a prominent member of the media and tech world. He even featured on the cover of Vogue Italy in October 2015 as the most fashion conscious CEO. He also got himself a Ferrari in June 2015 after Snapchat completed a significant funding round. The company grew at a phenomenal rate over the years and in 2016, Snapchat hit 10 billion daily video views. By April 2016, it was the top downloaded app in 28 different countries. The sky seemed to be the limit for Snapchat in the months before going public. Rebranded as Snap Inc. in September 2016, the company unveiled its camera-equipped spectacles two months later and disclosed a revenue of more than $400 billion for the year. In the fall of 2013, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg reportedly offered to buy Snapchat for $3 billion. Most valuations pegged the company at a significantly lower worth at that time and despite starting to gain some $750 million apiece from the deal, its co-founders rejected the offer, sparking a cold war between the companies that has continued to this day with Facebook releasing multiple Snapchat clones and making similar features for its own apps. There are very few people in the world who get to build a business. I think trading that for some short-term gain isn't very interesting. This is one of the quotes of Evan Spiegel. Evan Spiegel's smashing success with Snapchat enabled him to enjoy the trappings of a rock star lifestyle which included romancing Australian supermodel Miranda Kerr. Engaged in July 2016, they bought a home together in the ritzy LA neighborhood of Brentwood later that year and were married in its backyard in May 2017. Used in branding, advertisements and by millions of young people across the globe to communicate, Snapchat is undoubtedly a financial success. Evan was honored with the 2015 Yeti Award presented by the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation in recognition of his leading role in the development of the LA County economy and in the creation of well-paying jobs for its residents. 
This is the successful journey of Snapchat. We should admit that Evan Spiegel has proved that with a little bit of determination and passion, you can successfully take an idea from conception and transform it into a profitable startup no matter your age or background. Snapchat is also the proof that focusing your attention on offering your users the product they want before they even realize what they needed is the proper way to start your business.